there's a few things that cause problems with electrics and one of those is water I'm going to show you an HTV trailer because we're going to get away from the Land Rover world just for a little while to see what damage that happens when uh, water gets ingressed into electrics the reason I'm doing this on an HTV trailer is that it does hard work and you'll find that these vehicles are running sometimes 24-7 they go through all sorts of weather conditions especially rain and the spray that gets pushed up into the electrics actually exaggerates problems so what we're looking at in this here is the corrosion which is forming around electrical contact with looms that run outside if you've had chafing you'll see like in this example the wires will chafe through they'll corrode um, they could possibly give you an earth fault and uh, blow a fuse if not they will eventually just corrode through and you'll lose power or your earth to your lights this is especially true with sockets that live lower down and they are bombarded with water most of the time the other example of course is moisture which gets into a lamp the lamp gets hot it dries out and you think that would be the end of it but as it cools down it actually draws moisture back in so you might go through a winter season and um, everything will be alright and then you start getting electrical problems now with heat shrink okay that's a good idea and um, as you see here in this example I'm uh, putting heat shrink onto uh, a wire which is broken now um, that's soldered and it will shrink however it won't protect the wiring fully so generally as a, as a rule of thumb what we do especially at the back end of the trailer you can see here on the bumper this will get sprayed with water almost constantly when it's raining you see the trucks going past you you get the spray well this electrics system will be bombarded all the time now there's a side marker here which is full of water and there's something that gets repaired on a regular basis there's no way of stopping water ingress now looking at the wiring here you can see that I've done a pigtail as they call them and a loop so what it's doing is to guide the water away from the electrics rather than this which the uh, water has a chance to run down the cable into the lamp now once that's full of water obviously that will cause corrosion what also exaggerates any um, corrosion is when the water gets trapped in say a loom and this is especially true when you use the black PVC tape it will trap the water in there and it will exaggerate the corrosion on the wires especially if somebody's been using one of those goddamned electrical testers which pierce the insulating uh, to, to see if it's got a feed there except it and as you see by this loom here you've got two um, fittings there and instead of having to run around looking for a fault it, they can be cut off and then repaired right so one idea for prevention and uh, you've probably seen this in quite a few magazines is to actually use grease or something on the contacts that works WD-40 will dry out Vaseline is a very good conductor and it works well or spray grease now to be honest with you I use this quite exclusively and it, it slows the um, the rot down it doesn't stop it but it slows it down the heat eventually will dry the grease right out another thing here and this is especially true now we have LED lamps is the grease that they've started to use by this white um, grease that's in here on these contacts now again this is a lamp which fits very low to the ground it lasts longer however even with high tech fittings like on this ABS unit which is underneath a trailer um, eventually that will let in corrosion and this is a cause of most electrical problems so there you have it it's true water always wins Thank <laughs> you.